So I'm just finishing off some curtains made from a very beautiful mustard coloured velvet and it's quite a thick pile velvet and when it came on the roll the roll actually the tube inside the roll was broken so it, it did sort of suffer a bit of crushing on the velvet that's marked it not the end of the world um, there's a few ways of getting rid of it with steam and pressing with cloths over and stuff like that steaming from the back steaming over the top but when the curtains are already made like mine are now I've already got rid of a lot of the marking before I made them but there's a couple of marks still that have persisted and one good method of doing it is to use um, a piece of damp cloth the same velvet exactly the same so you're not worried about any color transference from a different fabric and also because it's velvet it's like a little brush so I'll just show you now now here are the curtains the curtains just laid out some um, really nice short pinch pleats at the top I really like those are nice and chunky but here there's a bit of crushing you can see this bit here this was caused um, by the roll and also there's a bit of a line here and just before I pack them up I just want to get rid of that so I have a little piece of velvet already dampened um, it doesn't want to be sopping wet it's just damp and be obviously because it's the same velvet it's got a bit of a pile it's almost like a little brush so the trick is to just brush the pile is going up on these curtains not always often they go down the pile goes down but in this particular case the piles going up so the trick is to just keep brushing. I might have to wet this a little bit more just to get this line out here. But the idea is the little fibres that stand up, you just want to dampen slightly so that they have the opportunity to lay back down flat. I'm just going to dampen this cloth a little bit more. It's just gone a bit dry. So there we go. I've just added some more water to this and I'll just squidge it up so that it's not concentrated too much in one area so it's it's wet but it's not sopping okay so I'll keep going on this bit here and sometimes if you just rub back and forth you can always flatten it back down again And whilst it might look like I'm flattening it too much, once it starts to dry, you can literally brush it back the other way. I tend to just do it with my hand because you can feel your way a bit better then. And just keep going. It's one of those things that you you keep going until you know you've got rid of it. So there we go, that probably will do it. So it's starting to look better, you can see there where it's a little bit wetter. But what I'll do now, in fact there's just a little bit here, I'm just going to do this bit here. That's just from handling it I think where I've just, where my hands have caught it. And then with my iron, I'll just blast the steam so I don't get any spits first and then holding it over not touching the velvet just blast a bit of steam down over it and that'll help it get right in there and also to start drying it off a bit If I feel that, I can still feel this is a little bit wet here, but if you do that, you can see that the pile is reacting the same whichever way I brush it. Now, I feel this is already drying actually. A little bit 
bit there is still annoying me. That's on a seam, so you don't want to go too much because you, then you start to, if you where you're over a seam, if you go too much, you start to get the impression of the fabric seam underneath. So just be a bit careful where you've got something underneath. That little bit there. See, it's come out pretty well. So there we go. That's much improved. And once that's hanging, that'll pretty much come out. There we go, little tip. Hope that's helpful. So thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Then you won't miss any other videos I make. I've also made another video um, of making these velvets actually from start to finish. So you might want to take a look at that. I'll put a link up and you can uh, click on that if you'd like to. Thank you. Goodbye.